Hello everybody, welcome back to Chibi Robo. So, we're at nighttime again, at least if memory serves from the last episode. It's been a uh, week or two since I last recorded. I believe it's nighttime though, and if so, we, yeah, it is nighttime. Because the last time it was in the day and we found the great Pico on the swing and he said, come to the basement at night if you want this yellow block. Well, I do want that yellow block. Um, oh, what's going on here? My dearest Drake, you look as sharp and gallant as ever today. I couldn't help but express my feelings for you once again. Please don't think me silly. I can't help it! My feelings for Drake keep gushing out of me like yogurt from a broken container. My heart is pounding like a bass drum. Oh no, I'm not saying that to his face! No way, oh my gosh, I would just die! My antenna is shaking and my teeth are chattering. God, I'm so embarrassed. I gotta go. Yes, we all know it, it's greatly embarrassing to you to announce your love to Drake Redcrest. Space Hunter Chibi Robo, may I have a word? I am having trouble mastering my new move. Am I raising my foot wrong? Perhaps I need to shake my hip more? What is that? Cold, cold ice. Cold? Ice, cold, freezing. Must remember. Remember. So that is how it should look, more or less. What do you think, Space Hunter Chibi Robo? I mean, it looks like you're doing it fine. Ha 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 It is just as I thought. I shall stay the course, no matter the cost. A thousand thanks to you. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest just gave you six happy points. Spread the happiness. Interesting, the aliens visit an Earth of their own volition to watch Drake Redcrest. But not like the TV show, the actual Drake Redcrest. Hey bro, what's up? Welcome, young seeker of wisdom. Let me be as direct as the cosmos itself. I am in possession of a block that holds no interest for me. However, it does seem to hold interest for you. I mean, that's true. I collect Legos. Therefore, I shall sell it to you for a reasonable fee. Purge your soul, give me 1,000 moolah. You purify your soul by giving me money. That's how it works. It seems that you currently hold 4,666 money. Oh, I don't like those three sixes next to each other. <laughs> Will you purchase it? Sure, man. It's only just to pay for stuff. Incredible! I see that it pays to us. We get the yellow block. Thank you very much. Greed will corrupt your soul. A corrupt soul must be purified. Okay, um... And... <laughs> sir, this is a Wendy's. The Great Pico is so weird. I mainly think his design is weird. And his personality. He's, he's like he's like a cultist. And I'm a religious man myself, and I mean, it's good to be generous with your money. You don't pressure people, though. At least, at least like, Christianity teaches, like, yeah, give with a generous heart. So if you don't want to give, I mean, like, you're not... You shouldn't be forced to give. God likes it when you give with a generous heart. Much more so than if you're like, I don't want to give, but fine. I mean, that's all in dandy too, but... Can I climb this? I cannot. However, I don't think I've ever flown over here before. Oh, is it literally just, like, up this way? 
Oh yeah, because I think I think I tried to go up here really early on in the game. The problem was I had a very limited battery. No, no, that leads to that area. I've already been there. No, I remember. This chibi door is hard to find because literally because it's invisible and the TV messes with the radar signal. So you just kind of have to find it on your own. Not good design, but it's on the couch. It's invisible on the couch. I wish the TV wouldn't be like, oh, that's where the signal's coming from. Or maybe you might be able to turn off the TV and it stops absorbing the signal, but still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an invisible one on the couch. It might be if you get close enough to it on the couch, the signal will direct over here, but... Actually, let's try that out. Sure enough. Yeah, it normally directs you to the couch, or to the TV. But there's one on the couch that you can grab. So we have one in the foyer, and one in Jenny's room. <laughs> we know where the one in Jenny's room is, we just can't... We just have always run out of time before we can actually get there. Anyhow, let's go to the backyard again. There's something really cool we can do. So we saw the aliens earlier, let's try summoning them again. There's more we can do with the aliens now. Tao, I thought you were asleep. Oh, what is up with you? You are red now. Everybody's saddened by death. Disappointed. Titan Eo Little Bane. Everyone's sick, sick, sick. Danny me not well either. How? Leave the nice alien alone. Help me! This is terrible, Chibi Robo! We need to take Ganymede back to the UFO! <laughs> hey, hey. Tao, it's okay. Oh, come on. Can I can't- can I talk to him? Hey, is it cool with you if I go ahead and chew on this guy? No. Rats! I could really use a new chew toy. Ganymede just gave you five happy points! Spread the happiness! I, I'm saved, but still sick! What's he doing I'm going on about now? <laughs> I love Tao when you can talk to him. And Chibiromo, you understand him, don't you? Help him out already, then! Save us, bad air, hot, shivers, death. Oh no, they have fevers. Fevers are so bad. I mean, most obvious sense, sense ever. But like, oh man, when I have a fever, I'm just, I'm out. Zero percent. <laughs> I don't leave bed. We are literally in their UFO now. Oh. Earth, bad air, processed food, too much soda, sickness, sickness. I love that the smallest one is called Little Bang instead of Big Bang. Sup, bros? Disappointed, everyone sick. Ganymede. Thank 
you for helping Ganymede! Time just gave you 26 happy points! Spread the happiness! Called for help! Good work! Falling down now! Burning up! Ow! Must go to sleep on bed! Yes! Weak, sick, hot, dizzy, no energy for blaster. Yep, this is literally me when I have a fever. Want to sleep on bed, comfy bed, must open bed. This is literally me when I have a fever. It's just like, uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta blast him, go ahead. There you go, man. Thank you, thank you! Titan just gave you 26 happy points! Spread the happiness! Bro, the least I can do for feverish aliens is to let them sleep in their bed. Thank you, thank you! Eo just gave me 26 happy points! Spread the happiness! I haven't forgot about you, Ganymede. <laughs> thank you, thank you! Ganymede just gave you 26 happy points! Spread the happiness! All bags deploy. All bags deploy. This vessel will now enter drive mode. Color code authorization required. Let's all do it. What are you doing? Need cool down. Must blow this pop stand! Need alien mommy! Do I have water? Uh, I do! Here you go. Cooling down, thank you! Little Bang just gave you five happy points! Spread the happiness! Let me cool you all down. Although, when I have a fever, I'm generally just super cold. That's, and like, I'm wrapped in like eight blankets and I'm still shivering like that. Cooling down, thank you! Gaming just gave you five happy points! Spread the happiness! Yeah. Least I can do for my alien pals. Cooling down, thank you! Yeah, just gave you five happy points! Spread the happiness! No! I'm out of water! I'm sorry, Titan. You're gonna have to just deal with it. Ooh. Okay. No, you mustn't! So what you do is you want to like, step on like one of the outside ones, go to the inside. No, you mustn't! And line it up so the blue lines up with the blue. Like so. Do not match the colors! I just do it one color at a time. Our technology is secret! Disco ball. 
Color code authorization accepted. Color code authorization accepted. Drive mode engaged. Temporal shifters activated. Warp vessel ready for boarding. You mustn't! No! You need a full charge blast to open this. We gotta go. You mustn't! No! Chibi-Robo! I've never seen anything like this! Can I go with you? No, I'm going alone. Oh, Pish Posh! I'm coming! Let me just squeeze in there. I guess we're off to the bedroom, then. travel to the past. We can only go to the bedroom in the past though. And also time stops, fittingly enough, so time can't run out while we're here. And we can charge in the electric ports if we want. It's Dinah! Hi Dinah! Remember me in the present. Oh, this is before she was depressed. Hmm? What's this? Who are you? Hmm. You remind me of someone. Let me think. Hmm. Not the brightest bulb of all. Not him. Not Tao, obviously. Wait a second. Giga Ro. Giga Robo? No! It couldn't be! Of course! Could it be? Lies, lies, lies! I don't believe it! Giga Robo has a son? But he's. When did he have the time? That's not how do robots biologically reproduce. No, when did he have the time to do this? I don't know. Hey! Look, look! Oh, 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 oh! Uncle, uncle, uncle! Pay attention! Forget about the match! You need to see this! Gosh! I hope our future child is cuter. Ouch. Still, everyone loves their own, right? It was nice to meet you, baby Robo. I don't know what your tangled story is or how you got here on those tiny legs. But it was nice of you to stop by. I'm sure your mother is worried, so you'd better go home now. <laughs> she just accepts this really, really <laughs> quickly. Please visit again while we have our own baby. Oh, and please be nice to Tao. He's grumpy right now because he wants a dog bone. But one bone per day is all we can afford. He'll have to be patient though, especially when the baby gets here. But Tao's a growing puppy, so he needs his food. 
Well, I'm sorry if I'm keeping you. Feel free to go now if you need to. Come back and see us again sometime. The mom is just... For all the talk, the mom is like, my husband's a lazy idiot. Like, I mean, the mom is not the brightest either when it comes to understanding biological sex. <laughs> no! I want to spend my money on toys! <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't interact with Gigarobo because he's sitting on a bar, like, on a platform there and we can't reach it. Oh, hey, it's the suitcase! The one that we believe Gigarobo's leg is inside, and it's open. A lot of scrap in it. Oh man, it's locked with a password. Can we see the password? Tau. Why do you have to sit right in front of the password? <laughs> ding 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 ding. Oh. Poor guy. He sees a puppy too. Oh, it's really cute. He's really tiny. Aww. Poor guy. I'm starving! I'm not moving! Not till I get a bone! Man, I have to go on strike! This is ridiculous! And this is why, uh... So there are a lot of things you can actually do, on, do in the past, and if you do a lot of the side quests to, uh, before coming here, you can get all the stuff done in one go to the past. That, that was weirdly worded. You, if, if you do enough planning ahead of time, you only have to visit the past once in order to get all of the side quest stuff. So first up, you want to have a dog bone. So you can put it in his ditch. This is the main thing you want when you go to the past. Here you go, buddy. Oh. Are you just gonna lick it to death? Oh, sweet bone goodness! Yay! But! I have to go slow or it'll lose its flavor! Aw, <laughs> uh, you have fun, puppy towel. Alright, what's the password? Password 2455. Cool. I think I can remember that. Also, I love how it plays this music all while you're in the past. This is this is such good music. This whole game has amazing music. Is Funky Phil around? Or is this before they got Funky Phil? Also, before you ask, there are no chibi doors in the past. We can't climb up as nearly as high as we could uh, before. There's also a couple things just in different places, like for example, suitcases out here. One other thing you want to make sure, uh, you can do this later, but it's just handy to get it now, because you'll need it for a later quest. We'll climb up here, and then we get, we're gonna chibi copter down. I'll land here and pick this up. It's the circuit schematic. Let's check that one out. Circuit schematic. Electronic plans for increasing the Chibi Blaster's strength. Well, that's kind of weird because uh, this is like 10, no, not 10 years. This is, I think, eight or nine years in the past. No, this might be 10 years in the past. Well, Jenny's eight. Jenny turned eight at the very beginning of the game. And it's implied that they're expecting Jenny right now. Okay, well, but it's it's eight to ten years in the past. It's more than eight. Because obviously, if she is pregnant with Jenny right now, she's not very far at all. She's not showing yet. So it could be closer to nine or ten years. The other thing you'll remember is that Sunshine gave us, like, the legendary flower nectar seed. But, and she's like, but it takes like 10 years to grow. Yeah, we're gonna plant it in the past. 
Then, if we go back to the present, it'll be fully grown. Because if you'll remember, there is the planter in the mom and dad's room, where we planted the funky-filled seeds. I believe that's really all that there is to do in the past. So cool, though. Normally, I don't like time travel that much, but I mean, it works well in this game, because there's literally no chance for time paradoxes. Oh, there, there's Funky Phil. Before he died. Alright, we're gonna plant the legendary flower seed. We don't have to water it or anything. Hey, man! Oh, we can't even interact with him. Oh! Ouch. She grew almost like, why did you do that? Oh. In that voice. Can we talk to the mom again? Does she say anything? The dad only says the one thing. Go, Gigarobo! If you win this match, he promised him to start saving his money. <laughs> this is really weird. Why did they think having a kid would be a good idea if he can't even save money? I feel like saving money is like the first thing you learn to do with money. A lot of people know their first thing they learn to do with money is spend it irresponsibly. Yeah. A lot of stuff in the past is arranged in such a way that you just can't go a whole lot of places. Hey man! Huh? What? I'll be waiting right here! I don't want to screw up anything! Huh? Are you going home, Chigurobo? I believe I've done everything I need to. If not, you can always come back. You can use the time machine as many times as you want. Back to the UFO. Alien tech dangerous! You not hurt? Must not use again! We traveled through time! That was amazing! The aliens can do neat stuff! I mean, the aliens that were literally just worried that we were gonna cause like a time paradox or something and destroy ourselves. So they were they were they were good. Good job looking out for us, little guys. I appreciate it. Alright, we got everything in the backyard. I don't Oh, we could do the rain dance again if we wanted. I don't want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Oh, I wonder if the, the last chibi door I bet is up there. Hey, hey girl. I wrote a number one, but I still can't give it to him. Sorry to bother you, chibi robo. Ooh, feels good. <laughs> okay, the, the lighter keeps going in different spots, though. So we are advancing the plot, slowly but surely. Okay, I, yeah, I don't think we've ever actually climbed up to the handrail before, so... We've gone here for handrail training, but that's about it. Oh yeah, there's the last chibi door. Sweet. Ah, that's right. So what we need to do is we need to do a precise hover onto the other handrail. Just like that. It's actually really cool how you have to like navigate the house to get all the stuff. Like, super good job on the developer's part, making the house really fun to, tra to traverse. Um, yeah, just in case. Cool, so we can go to Jenny's room and get the last chibi door. And we will literally have opened all the chibi doors before we finish the game. Man, a lot of the chibi doors that like I saved for the end were ones I could have gotten much earlier. That's my fault. Ha! 
I got you, bro. Don't worry about littering. Well, actually, you should worry about littering. Your Chibi Robo you should buy, so that way when you see him picking up the trash you left, you feel guilty and you feel obligated to pick up your own trash, in which case you don't need the Chibi Robo anymore. But at least the Chibi Robo will help solve your marital problems. That's what he's really there for. Oh man, imagine if they actually made a robot that helped you solve your marital problems. Then again, a lot of people have mar marital problems because they really shouldn't have gotten married to begin with. Pretty sure that unrealistic expectations are one of the biggest marriage killers. You can, t you, you, you can trust my opinion because I've never had a romantic relationship before. And this, and this is what happens when I start Let's Playing a game and eventually run out of stuff to talk about about the actual game. I start rambling about other random topics. Sunshine's still like, hey, what to do? What to do? Hey, girl. Oh, still the same stuff. You good, Mort? You're still stress eating, at least a little bit. My dream has come true. I can hardly believe it. It's all thanks to you, my friend. Alright, I'll leave you two lovebirds at it. Alright, I've got like ha almost half the night left. I better be able to finish up here. There's one door. Literally one door. What could go wrong? So, so much. And because I'm actually playing it on the GameCube, I can't even save state. No virtual console release for this, and no emulator for me. No way, man. It's the real deal. Oh, I just realized, is Jenny actually... She is! She stopped staying up super late. And she's sleeping in her bed. Oh, that's cute. Sweet dreams, Jenny. Don't worry about the robot walking on your bed frame that's watching you sleep. He's nice. Chibi Robo with just a couple tweaks could be a very effective horror film. Also, I still have not been able to give the snorkel and goggles to the Great Pika. He, he appeared in the fishbowl once very early in the game before I had the snorkel and goggles. And he has not returned since. So, no, if you. Okay, good. I'm like, if you tell me. And I didn't make it. <laughs> I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> Alright, last chibi door of the game, unless I miscounted somewhere. They didn't even give me a whole lot. Congratulations, you found all the chibi doors! You're a real, um, uh, doorman! The chibi doors just gave you 1,000 happy points! Spread the happiness! They give me that many happy points for her. Turning their crank, opening or closing their eyes and taking the, their cash? Huh, good friends. You got the Chibi Door sticker. You really are amazing, Chibi Robo. That's actually one of the trickier stickers to get in the game, so. I've gotten like, all the tricky stickers, actually. It's generally that. Oh, hi, Sunshine. Don't mind me. Generally, the trickiest stickers to get are the main quest sticker, just because it takes a while. The Telly sticker, because that also takes a while. Uh, the Chibi Door sticker, and then the Chicken Race and Space Scrambler stickers. Those are the toughest ones. The other ones just take time. Oh, and speaking of time, before I go to the bedroom... Um... <laughs> Ugh, almost lost my cool there. Also, that is the wrong part to fly down to. I want to fly onto the chair that the love letter made its way onto. Oh, please make it. Oh, please make it. Don't, no, please don't. Oh, my thank goodness. Wait, can I actually not climb up there, though? Time's running out, so I actually... And I don't even think I can push the ladder over here. 
No, I can't. Rats and fooey. No, Great Pico can't be in the kitchen. Because he's in the basement tonight. Alright. I gotta go to the bedroom then, real fast. And would you believe it if I said I already forgot the password to this suitcase? I remember there was a two, a five, and two fours, I believe. There's two, five, and four were the three numbers used in the past. I'll figure it out. It's like two, five, four, four, two, four, five, 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 two, four, four. One of those. I'll figure it out. It's not one of those online passwords. It's like, you got it wrong five times in a row, so you're locked out. Please contact Verizon and have them change the password. Make sure you input the new password. You input the new password. New password can't be the same as your original password. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one who has been there, I'm sure. Hey, Dinah. Is Dinah still dead? Oh, I can't even find Dinah. Alright, well, let's open the suitcase then. Enter pa- <laughs> It looks like the password's wrong! That's because I didn't realize- I thought I had to press A to advance the text. Please enter the password. Okay, let's try... I think it started with five, two, four. Five, four, four, two? Oh, no, that was wrong, Chibi Rebel. You're stupid. Five, two, four, four? No, Chibi Rebel, come on. Can you not even remember the basic password? Shut up. <laughs> Chibi Rebel, you already tried? <laughs> Tristar, shut up, Jelly. <laughs> two, four, four, five. No, you're, you're awful at this. Two... Five. Four, four. No, Chibi Robo, come on, you're trying to get every single combination except the right one. Two. Five. Five. Four. No, oh, wow, you, you're. Wow, you really suck at this. All right, two. Four. Five. Five. There we go. That was it. I remember the numbers, I just I just forgot to do the shopping. <laughs> and there's his leg. Here we go. Um what, what's going on? Honey! What's wrong? Oh yeah, it's the dad. Huh? Eh? Oh! Sweet Space Justice! How dare you come barging in! This isn't the time for that! Head to the living room, little buddy! Jenny, tell! Seal the door! <laughs> Dang. I gotta admit it, Jenny is... Holy cow. Um, did we make it out? <laughs> you stopped them. Thank goodness I have this bulletproof vest. Where did that come from? There, there, Jenny's quick on her feet. She just jumped out of bed. Boom. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Sorry, Jenny. We're going to be stuck in here for a while. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, no. We were in such a hurry. We forgot your drawing set. Ribbit. Hmm. Is there anything that you could do? Oh, how about looking at the photo album? Ribbit, ribbit. You used to hate looking at this because it had pictures from before you were born. Ribbit, ribbit! Alright, alright! Here you go! Sheesh. Ribbit, ribbit. Aww, little towel in the box! That's cute. 
Well, this escalated quickly. Oh my goodness, is is he going to be all right? Honey, be strong. I'll do my best, love. I'm I'm sorry I was such a loser for so long. Oh, they're making up. Also, way to barricade both doors. <laughs> they have the couch in front of one and the table in front of the other. Hey, strong. Good thinking. It's weird seeing the living room this empty, though. Hey, hey! You want me to take care of this little problem we're having here, or what? Oh, yeah, Tao's got his game face on. Also, really dramatic music. Look, Ribbit. Who, Ribbit? Calculator, Ribbit? Alright, let's translate that. Shh, Mama's here, so I have to whisper. Oh, little baby Jenny's also cute. I love Tao in the box, too. I don't have my drawing stuff, so I'm looking at pictures. Um, I don't know who he is. Has Jenny just never gone to the basement before? Maybe she's scared of it. But he's got a calculator on the bottom of his foot. Alright, I gotta admit, the dad kicking open the door to the bedroom is one of my favorite parts of the game. Good on you, dad. Aw, oh, circuit breakers! I'm sorry, Chief Rebel, this is all my fault! Because... because I was the one who designed those nasty spiders. What?! You never told me that! Yeah, um, Ribbit. I know, I should have told you. I'm sorry. But listen, you had need to know something. I designed the spiders to be your friends, Chibi Robo. But then the company reprogrammed them to be hostile and cruel. And that's why I quit Macroware Robotics Inc. Wait, what? You quit? Like, Q-U-I-T quit? Oh my gosh! You never told me that! You never told me about any of that! I, I was ashamed. I didn't want to talk about it. But that's all in the past. Right now, we have to get rid of those spy doors. I'll put the energy wave that I was researching at Macroware Robotics Inc. to good use. I'll use it to remodel the Chibi Blaster. The spy doors are my responsibility. It's up to me to take them out. Me and Chibi Robo, because <laughs> you're the star of the game. Okay, so this is where a lot of stuff's kind of falling together. The dad used to work at, like, the company that, like, made Chibi Robo and such. And he made the Spy Doors, because, like, remember when on the news the Spy Doors were around, and he's like, no, they're Chibi Robo's friends. At least they ought to be, because he designed them that way. And that, that also explains why he had the circuit schematic in the past. Like, because that was obviously stuff that his company was researching for future projects. So he was he was already ahead of the game. So yeah, the dad's actually really cool. I like this. <laughs> now that we've got that settled, let's get that circuit schematic from upstairs. Um, hon, uh, do you remember what I did with it? I don't know. I haven't seen it in forever. I probably threw it away. Threw it away? The circuit schematic is gone! Crud! What am I gonna do now, Chibi Robo? Uh, well... We might have to do that next episode, but we are about to run out of time. Also, is Drake Redcrest on the- Drake Redcrest is on the TV! <laughs> also, yeah, at this point, the curtain is over the backyard, but you can still sneak out through the cracked window. Also, man, the new spiders that just came out of the trunk are apparently way stronger than the you know, ones we've seen before. Because, holy cow. Th that That's kind of insane. And yeah, you're really just starting to see how all the pieces of the game are starting to fall together now. This is kind of, kind of the end of the main quest, in case you couldn't tell. We're getting ready for the final battle pretty soon. We'll have to do that next time, though. Chiro, the spiders are attacking. What do we do? Not my problem. <laughs> Way to go! 
I think we can call it a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. You're just going to leave us here to fend for ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> also, I think if you do that during the day, it automatically progresses to night when you go back to the later. Oh, good morning. Let's adjust your happy point total. Did we get one or two level ups from this? Because we got a thousand happy points from the Chiyors. Your ranking gauntlet went from five to three. Yeah, we get two bonus batteries in one. For making it into the top three, send yourself to spend your special with the greater bonus battery. So we're going to go up by a lot. Whoa, would you look at that? Your Chibi battery went up to 420. Got an extra 100 battery. Oh, yeah. Adios, do we in there? In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 1,032 more happy points. Oh! You know, I saw something earlier. All of the Chibi Doors' eyes opened up wide again. Yeah, after that happens, you can go back to all of them and get even more money if you want, but there's really no point in doing that. I wonder if you can find more Moolah inside. While you're here, Chibi Robo, do you want to save? Yep. That's where we're going to leave this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry to end this on kind of a cliffhanger. Next time, we'll basically be finishing up the main quest. Uh, gotta get rid of those spite ores, and it's gonna be super epic. It's gonna be great. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.